Hey, what is up everyone? Chris with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to flash TWRP custom recovery onto your Zook Z2. So this is going to first require you to have your bootloader unlocked. I have already made another video on how to do that. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description below. In that video at the end I also show how to flash um, TWRP, but this I just want to show you how to um, flash the recovery and then also how to update it um, once you're in TWRP, which is very important, or flash to a different version, that sort of thing. So you're going to need a couple things, of course. You're going to need to download the latest version, um, twrp.me slash z2. The latest one is 3.1.0-0. We're going to go ahead and just save that to our desktop real quick. And what we're going to need to then do is, if you haven't already set up um, ADB Fastboot onto your computer, and then copy over the recovery image to that folder where you have your ADB Fastboot set up. So I'm going to go ahead and just change the file name to twrpz2. And so that's going to be the file name that I'm going to be dealing with in our environment here for ADB and Fastboot. Go ahead and plug your phone into your computer with your USB cable. We need to go and our debugging is on. All right, we can see that it's there. Now if we go to ADB devices, all right, starting and here in the device, allow USB debugging, always allow from this com computer. All right, so we have, there is our device. It is attached, awesome, it's being recognized, perfect. That's what we, that's what we want. All right, so now the next command that we're gonna wanna do is ADB reboot fastboot. This will boot it into fastboot mode. That way we can flash our recovery image. All right, you can see there now if we do fast boot devices, there's our device, perfect. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is flash the recovery, TWRP. So in order to do that, we're gonna be typing this. It is fast boot dash I ox2b4c flash recovery. This dash i ox2b4c, this is like the device ID for the fastboot to interact with um, the phone itself. And then the flash recovery. And now what we just need is recovery space and then our recovery image name, which I renamed twrp z2 dot image flash recovery tw twrp z2 dot image yep sending recovery rec writing recovery finished perfect all right so now what we go ahead and just do is use our volume buttons on here until you first start start off with start just go up until you see recovery mode press your power button And you can see there 3.1-0-0, right up there. You can see that 3.1-0-0 is now your recovery version. You just flashed it, and there you go. So MIUI 8, the ROM that they have, when you install that ROM, it actually flashes a different recovery onto your device. So what you want to do is, um, before restarting your device after flashing that ROM, we want to actually restore or reinstall a different version of TWRP back onto it. Let's say after you flash the ROM, restart your device, you use it for a week or so, then if, let's say you go to restore a previous ROM that you had on there or you go to back this ROM up that you have and you go to restore, 
that's how you break your device. That's what I did. Um, and you don't want that. So to reduce the possibility of you breaking your device, you need to restore the previous TWRP version you had on there after you flashed MIUI 8. Okay, so what you would do is select image to install image, sorry. Go down to where your folder is located where you have your recovery image look. And we see here there is my older version 3.0 dash yeah 3.0.3-0 you would select that and then you would since it is a recovery select recovery swipe to flash and it's going to flash that version uh, as your recovery and then just reboot back into the recovery that way your it refreshes basically it's a reboot of the recovery mode so that's how you would flash TWRP custom recovery in Fastboot, and also how to update or install the proper TWRP version from within the recovery itself. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Like the video if you saw and thought that it was helpful. Really appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Take care.